welcome to this Digital Growth Masters in collaboration with Huawei Discussion. Thank you guys for being here today. I have Huawei's Chief Digital Transformation Officer, Edwin Dinter, Ralph Echemendia, Top Cybersecurity Expert, aka The Ethical Hacker, and Entrepreneur, Tech Evangelist, and Advisor to Fortune 500 Companies, Mike Flash. Now, the average tech user is not an analyst, is not a cybersecurity expert, they're not the ethical hacker, and they don't have the knowledge Edwin or Mike have. So how does the average user trust emerging technologies? Back in December, for example, Mike and myself were at a trusting tech event in London and we share insights on this topic from a stage. From my perspective, I said that to combat this, education moving forward is a huge part of trusting emerging technologies. Because if we don't know what something does, we will always have fear. For example, I met the audience do this little exercise where they closed their eyes. I was trying to tell them that when we close our eyes, we are scared of what is next to us. If somebody touches you on the shoulder or from behind on the street, you jump because you don't know what's around the corner. Sometimes technology that is coming is just like that. Or cybersecurity or the word 5G, even though it is everywhere nowadays. So from your perspective, guys, why should we trust technology? And I will start with you, Edwin. Where does trust start in emerging technologies? For me, it starts with skepticism. I'm very skeptic towards technology, as strange as that might sound. Um, but the reason for that is very simple. You know, it's not so much the technology, but it's the, it's the people that use it or the people that use it in the wrong way or the people that use it in such a way that it's actually not that good, that kind of thing. Um, sometimes technology can, do, can facilitate such behavior very easily. There, there are technologies out there that if you would use it, it would become very easy to do very bad things with it, where other pieces of technology are so complex that it is not that easy to do with it. So being skeptical, I think that that's an important part, but that goes for me. Um, I think from a technology point of view, I think the usage, uh, you, you highlighted a good one, which is uh, education, but also awareness goes along with that. Uh, open door policies uh, for Huawei, that's one that's very eminent and very dominant too. Uh, from the moment I joined uh, years ago in this company, one of the things that we already said in our teams then was, we're not going to answer questions just out of the blue. You can, you can ask us anything you want and we'll give you the answer if we can. If we're unable to give you the answer, we'll tell you that we're unable to give you the answer, but it doesn't mean that we won't give you an answer at all. We then will invite you to come with us to someone who can provide the answer. And if no one can find the answer, we're going to create one together with you. In other words, open door policies, come and have a look. This is where it is. This is what it is. Use it and see for yourself, find out for yourself. In, in, in perhaps a closed environment, because sometimes technology you don't want to give to everybody in such a way that, you know, like children, for example, you don't want to give kids uh, uh, too much of the power tools. Although I am a big fan of giving power tools to children. Um, I love that. And I'm going to make a little comment here because you spoke about open door policies and I have been following your brand for just over two years, uh, same as Mike Flash. We discuss your brand quite often. And one of the things that truly got me to continue learning about you or attending your events was that open door policy that you have. For example, we would not be doing this video if you were not so open minded. We were gonna do this during Mobile World Congress in Barcelona, it didn't happen, so we did it online. You have always been very open to give insights for articles that I write and other executives at Huawei are always very open and welcoming to someone like myself who is an author, a digital media storyteller. My kingdom is social and 
digital media. I am not a CEO of a Fortune 500 company, but Huawei still treats myself and other fellow global thought leaders with the same respect and equals and people of value. And for me, Edwin, that is a huge thing and it says a lot about the brand. I've been invited to exclusive roundtables, one-on-ones, and even a visit to your China HQ, one of the most coveted and exciting HQs I've ever been to. I feel that more companies need to be open. If you want your company to share your products and what you do, then let more individuals in to understand who you are and what you're about. Every question I have ever asked from my personal interests um, have always been answered. Like you said, if a question cannot be answered, then you also say it cannot be answered. But when you're able to get 99% of your questions answers, for me, that's huge. So on my behalf, I want to say thank you to you, Edwin, and uh, the brand uh, you work for, because you have very good exposed people. And I'm thankful that we can jump on the videos like we are today. And today we're talking about trust. And just doing this video for me is building trust, not just trust in technology, but trust in the people behind the technology, which now brings me to you, Ralph. What is your perspective when it comes to trust in technology? Trust is defined as uh, as to have confidence, faith, or hope in someone or something, uh, and and we don't give enough examples. So you know, an example of trust is I trust that the sun is going to come up every morning. That's trust. I can trust the sun, um, but at the same time, trust is both an emotional and a logical act. So, you know. Emotionally, we expose our vulnerabilities to other people. And in data, we expose our data to other people. Uh, and we trust that they will not take advantage of that openness. So that really is the act that uh, companies take and that people, because companies are people, they're not companies don't exist without its people. So we have to trust some of these companies the same way that we trust our mechanic. If you're not a mechanic to fix your car, uh, if it's making a sound, whatever he says it is, just the same way you trust the doctor to, you know, come up with uh, with what is wrong if you feel a certain way. So uh, that is a matter of the act, not so much the emotional factor plays a part, but you know, the, the actual verb uh, using the word trust of what companies do with our data. Now, that is the problem, uh, or has been the problem, is that we do trust many of these companies and organizations and their people to uh, not take advantage of, of our openness and our sharing of information. And too often we have found out that that hasn't been the case, right? Um, companies have been hacked, data has been leaked, data has been shared. Um, or we have been abused in some way as a result of that data. And so you've seen the backlashes on companies like Facebook, for example, um, uh, because even with all their money and all their security people and, you know, all of that kind of stuff, they still have not uh, necessarily acted in the best way. So a lot of this really has to do with, you know, how responsible the companies and those people within those companies are with our vulnerabilities because uh, with the use of any of these technologies we make ourselves vulnerable in a way so trust is really something that is very personal and uh and that you know has to be built into the culture of the companies that provide technologies to us thank you for the honesty ralph much appreciated this is why i wanted to get you guys together because you're always honest you give real answers they're not fluff they're not what everybody wants to hear and this brings me to you mike i want to ask you in a slightly different way um i want your opinion regards trust to building businesses and to create value in the digital world because this is your expertise Regardless of the technology, trust is the foundation for everything, especially when it comes to business or investment. Yeah, and uh, let me uh, let me give you a few examples. For example, if you invest in startup, these high tech startup that are creating, uh, yeah, the businesses of tomorrow, 
Uh, you invest in the technology, of course, but on the other hand, you invest in the team because uh, the, the founder team or the team of the whole company, can they manage uh, the whole company? Can they manage the, can they deal with the highs and lows uh, of a company? And can they move the, the ships through the storm uh, when it's there? So, and this depends on trust uh, in people and of course trust in technology so what we need is i come back to it we need this increased transparency we need education and uh, of course we also need policies and this brings me back to what edwin earlier said um the policies uh should be should be made for a modern world yeah, we cannot we cannot deal with with all these things uh, if we look backwards yeah, and say ah yeah in the past we did it in that way and uh, yeah it needs to fit for today or even for tomorrow because we have an ongoing process um, and the speed is uh, is incredible so how we can we, how we can solve this uh, I'm convinced about we need this partnership and uh, better more partners than less uh, because we cannot solve the uh, the challenges um, of tomorrow by by, by ourselves we, we need these um, various uh, experts or the expertise of, of different companies uh, with that we have this knowledge transfer and this is what i mean this is um, it's not uh, focus just on businesses. We need this collaboration between people or consumers or how you would like to call them, businesses, government and the society. This is, a, this is, a, this is your overall picture and uh, this, is, this is what I'm convinced about. Thank you for that, Mike, and thank you guys. Great answers when it comes to trust in technology. Please feel free to follow us on socials. Handles are below. See you again very soon.